are man and a machine, power and energy. Energy which is life. Yet without fuel, a machine would have no power, and we must eat in order to live. Both food and petrol are sources of energy. Whatever we do, we use up energy. Running, walking, standing talking, or simply lying down. And this energy comes, in the first instance, from the sun. To us, the sun means light and warmth. But to plants, it is the very basis of life and growth. But convert it into another form, store it, and use it for building new tissue. The green color of their leaves is due to the presence of a substance called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll is like a battery, which becomes charged with solar energy. Plants absorb water through their roots carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide is breathed in through the small pores in the leaves called stomata, seen here under a microscope. The chlorophyll charged with the sun's energy, enables the water and the carbon dioxide to combine, producing a new substance called sucrose and releasing oxygen to the atmosphere. This oxygen is essential to combustion. Without it, fuels would not burn and we should suffocate. Both men and machines use up oxygen and give back carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide and water are combined with the sun's energy in a plant's leaves. The process is called photosynthesis. The product, sucrose, is more commonly known as sugar. All plant structures, even wood, are derived initially from sugar. In full sunlight, they produce more than they need immediately. Some is used for making new cells. The remainder is converted into starch and stored. But towards the day's end, when the sun's energy is no longer sufficient to charge up the chlorophyll, the photosynthesis of sugar from carbon dioxide and water in the leaves ceases for a time. During darkness, the process is reversed some of the plant's starch reserves are converted back into sugar. Oxygen is taken up from the atmosphere, the sugar is burnt up, and the plant gets the energy to keep it alive. Plants must have sugar in order to grow. Sunlight, used by plants in making sugar, enables them to grow. And indirectly, this same sugar supplies the energy needs of the entire living world. Bees take it from flowers and convert it into honey, which is a special kind of sugar. This honey acts as the bees' body fuel and is the source of their remarkable energy. 
they can obtain the same energy from a solution of sugar in water. When this is fed to a bee, it produces an immediate effect. After a time, the sugar is used up. The bee needs to refuel. As it takes in more sugar, it breathes in oxygen. The sugar is burned up. And the bee's energy is restored. This process is similar to what happens in an internal combustion engine when petrol is burnt. But instead of petrol, insects, animals, and human beings all use sugar as their body fuel. When we are tired, when our muscles, brain, heart, or other organs have been working overtime and our body reserves are low, a small amount of sugar can give us fresh energy almost immediately. In the digestive system and the liver, it is converted rapidly into the body fuel dextrose or blood sugar. When this is oxidized, energy is released and the sugar is broken down into its original components, carbon dioxide and water. The cycle, which began with the absorption of the sun's energy by plants, is completed. Both human beings and animals are dependent on plants for a major part of their food needs. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats and vitamins. These are derived by a series of complex processes from the sugar produced by photosynthesis. So the major items of our diet all come initially from the first product of photosynthesis, sugar. If necessary, we can convert any food into blood sugar, the body fuel which provides us with energy. The amount of fuel we need during a normal day is measured not in gallons, but in units of body heat, known as kilocalories, or calories for short. The number of calories we need depends on who we are and what we do. A small child can manage on less than 2,000 a day. The active teenager probably needs around 3,000. And people who work hard, or for long periods, or who are always in a hurry, may want as many as 4,000. Foods, which are made up of fat, proteins and carbohydrates, supply calories. But for the major part of our daily energy needs, we depend on carbohydrates. We can obtain these as starch in bread. Or in cereals, like rice, wheat, oats and barley. Or potatoes and some other root vegetables. But the most palatable form of carbohydrate which occurs in nature and is available in large quantities is sugar. This is extracted from the stems of sugar cane or from the roots of sugar beet. Both sugar beet and sugar cane are used in making the refined sugar for our daily use. It supplies about one-sixth of our energy needs. Other foods help us to grow, but sugar is the one which supplies our brains and bodies with the energy they need.
the source of all this energy is the sun. And because plants are able to use it to make sugar by photosynthesis, we are able to live. <laughs>